Powell, who is part of President Trump's legal team in contesting this election. Sydney, we talked about the Dominion software. I know that there were voting irregularities. Tell me about that. Let's put it mildly. The computer glitches could not and should not have happened in, at, at all. Those, that is where the fraud took place, where they were flipping votes in the computer system or adding votes that did not exist. We need an audit of all of the computer systems that uh, played any role in this fraud whatsoever. And, you know, Joe Biden had it right. He said that he had the biggest voter fraud organization ever, and he didn't need people's votes now. He would need people later. They had this all planned, Maria. They had the algorithms. They had the paper ballots waiting to be inserted if and when needed. And notably, President Trump's vote in the blue states went up enormously. That's when they had to stop the vote count and go in and replace votes for Biden and take away Trump votes. I've never seen voting machines stop in the middle of an election, stop down and assess the situation. I also see reports that Nancy Pelosi's longtime chief of staff is a key executive at that company, Richard Blum, Senator Feinstein's husband, significant shareholder of the company. What can you tell us about the interest on the other side of this Dominion software? Well, obviously, they have invested in it for their own reasons and are using it to commit this fraud to steal votes. I think they've even stolen them from other Democrats in their own party who should be outraged about this also. Uh, Bernie wow. Sanders might very well have been the Democratic candidate, but they've stolen against whoever they wanted to steal it from. Sydney, these are incredible charges that you are making this morning. We, of course, will be following this, and we thank you for joining me today. Please come back soon. Sydney Powell, that'll do it for Sunday Morning Futures. The conversation continues. I'll see you tomorrow, morning to three on Fox Business.